And there's the elite and under 23 men's field. Ready to roll. Go get him, Chad. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's Penn. Go. And away go the elite men and under 23. Five laps of the course. So here's the first move of uh, the race. We've got a bunch of seven that are uh, pushing out a significant lead now. Dyball, Odlin, Williams, Freeburg, Kirby, Finning and Halson. So there's some heavy hitters in here. Three elites, four under 23s. First of five climbs up McIntyre's Hill. Now here's the rest of the bunch. Here your leaders climbing Littles Road, start of their second lap. Remember they've got five ahead of them. And this is now a lead bunch of nine. Williams, Odlin, Jones, Freeburg, Kirby, Finning, Housen, O'Brien and Aiken. And they have a sizeable gap. Michael Freeburg back at the team car. And now the rest of the bunch making the climb. And they're about a minute and a half down on the leaders. Here's your leading group of eight. Last time check they had a uh, lead of around about 50 seconds or so. Williams, Odlin, Jones, Kirby, Finning, Housen, O'Brien and Aitken. And here we are riding with the leading group of eight. And they've uh, opened up significant lead now. The Peloton's two minutes 13 back. Sitting with the leaders on Mulligan's Road. Here's your leading bunch again. Yep. Yep, 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 go. And we're going to follow them down the hill, down Little's Road. Climb.
So this leading group of eight at last time check, and there was a single rider, William Lind, who was just over a minute back, and then it's three and a half minutes back to the peloton. Yeah, that looks like hard work. And now the descent down the other side of the hill. And it looks like we've got to move off the front. Three of the riders are away. Eighteen, eight and nineteen. So a mini break. Back to the remainder of the lead group. Approaching the halfway stage of the race. And here's your next group on the road. So O'Brien, Odlin and Finning off the front. There's a group of riders. Who are about a minute and a half down. And now the peloton descends on the one-way bridge. Here we are, the turn into uh, Maligan's Road now. And still this uh, lead group of four riders who uh, make the turn. So that's Finning, O'Brien, Odlin, and Nick Aitken, the leading under 23 rider. Still got a very nice gap. We'll get a time check here. And here comes the chase bunch. Still a long way to go, two and a half laps or 60 kilometers. But they'll make the turn three minutes and 15 seconds down as Michael Freeberg and Sam Horgan lead the rest of the chases through. Here's our next bunch, about four minutes 20 down. One, 15 and 20, Daniel Barry, Nick Lovegrove and Jason Spencer. Now the peloton's starting to get split into twos and threes, literally. And now the rest of the bunch chatting away. Over eight minutes down on the leaders. And here are your leaders making the climb up Little's Road for the penultimate time. So just starting the fifth of six laps. Keep it up, guys. And here's the first of the chases. Couple of minutes down on the leaders. I think just about 2.15. Freeberg and Horgan. And Jason Christie leading up the rest of the uh, chase group. 
Five minutes down on the leaders. And here we are along Mulligan's Road at the Hunter Road turn off and it's still this leading group of four. They've got a two minute and five lead over Sam Horgan and Michael Freeberg. That's still Finning, O'Brien, Odlin and Aitken. Here's your leading group of four. Following them down Mulligan's Road, Finning, O'Brien, Odlin and Aitken. It's Nick Aitken, the under 23 leader on the road. They've got a 1 minute and 57 lead over Horgan and Freeburg. Here's the final climb up Little's Hill for the uh, lead group of four. Start of the last lap. Sean Finning a little off the back. And here goes Sam Horgan and Michael Freeberg, who at the moment is the second under 23 on the road. Two minutes and five seconds down. 2.05 guys. So somewhere back here is an under 23 bronze medalist. Although I'm not quite sure where. Last lap of the race. Here's fifth and sixth on the road, Horgan and Freeberg. Aiken in the Jayco strip. You're under 23 leader on the road in Odlin. And Subway Pro Cycling leading the elites. So it's uh, Otty who's leading them out. Odlin, what's Aiken got? Can he get there? No, he won't. It's going to be Paul Odlin who'll take uh, line on us and he takes the elite title. And Nick Aiken is your under 23 champ, second across the line. And he takes the gold medal in the under 23. And here he comes in to take the silver medal. Mark O'Brien from Team Budget Forklifts. Third across the line, silver in the elite men's road race. Well done, mate. Your bronze medal winner in the elite men road race, Sean Finning. So here they go. Michael Freeberg coming across to take the silver medal in the under 23 road race. And there's uh, Sam Horgan, your time trial champ, and fourth place overall in the elite men's road race. Here's the uh, sprint to the line for the rest of the bunches. We're looking for third place overall. Jason Christie takes it. It's Christie that'll take the bronze medal. So it's Jason Christie who uh, finishes uh, things off with uh, victory as the uh, third under 23 rider across the line. There's the uh, under 23 uh, gold medalist at the Oceania uh, Champs, Nick Aiken. Congratulations uh, mate, that, that, did that go according to plan? I'm guessing it did. Um, yeah, it was perfect, sort of. I didn't win the end sprint, which was the hopeful result, but what can you do? I won under 23s and uh, got a result on the board. Yeah, so absolutely. So you and Odlin got away, of course, uh, and uh, and obviously worked out pretty quickly that uh, you had gold locked if you could actually kick clear of the other two that you had in your four-man breakaway. Yeah, Odlin uh, sort of put some pressure on that last time up the first climb and split it and then we just worked together to the finish and managed to hold them off and yeah, it was good.
Enjoy the course? Yeah, it was a really nice course. The hills made it interesting. They were pretty steep. I think it got to 20% at one stage, which hurt for legs, but yeah, it's good. Yeah, nice. So where does this rate in, uh, in the grand scheme of things for you in terms of your career so far? Um, it's a pretty good result, it's, um, opening up that spot for Worlds at the end of the year. Now I've just got to focus on getting some more runs on the board to confirm that place and hopefully it'll be a good year. Yeah, nice. So next spots for you? You've got nationals, I think. Uh, would that be the next cab off the rank or what's your plan? Uh, we had nationals in January, so um, we go home tomorrow for a week and then we head over to Italy to start our European campaign. Yeah, nice, mate. Well, uh, congratulations and good stuff. Well done. No worries, Here's you. the elite men's uh, road race champ, uh, Paul Waldlin. That has quite a good ring to it, mate. Yeah, no, I like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, something that I... I haven't really given much thought, but um, it'll sink in over the next couple of days and something to, to something to savour. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Well, so there was four of you that got away. I mean, when did you decide to uh, to make the move and you and Aitken, the under-23 gold medal winner, got away? Uh, on the last lap, on the steep climb, there's always a possibility that you're not going to get away. Uh, so just make... Give, I, I gave myself a few opportunities. If it wasn't going to be then, it might have been at, a, at another opportunity um, on the, the second climb on the course. But I had a good feeling about that that climb. I was going up it well, um, which is surprising. But uh, <laughs> I don't consider myself a hill climber. Uh, but it, uh, I had good gearing, which made a bit of a difference. Um, and we knew that I couldn't get to the finish with Sean Sean Finney, the uh, Australian uh, track cyclist, because he's got a good sprint on him. Yeah. And uh, just to eliminate um, down to myself and the, the U23 rider Nick Atkin, um made sense. So um, went for it. And you had, you had some enough on the legs to win the last sprint, though, mate. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, it was good because a teammate who rode for the New Zealand U19 team, under 19 team, uh, had and I had sussed it out where, where to go from uphill, you know, 150k in the legs. And uh, Gordon McCauley was talking about you know 170 metres or a sign at 170. And we're thinking, no, 150. He's a sprinter so, now, Gordy. You, know, you realise yeah, that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, I hear he's going to make a comeback 2016 <laughs> Rio de Janeiro sprint team. Yeah, no, um, uh, so I knew just, just leave it till late and, and Nick didn't respond. Um, so let me lead it. Oh, I let it out. I looked after myself in the last K because it's downhill. It was really slow going in, so um, just made it so I just waited for the last moment. And it's pretty it's it's pretty easy to win from there because he's got to get a whole bike link. Yeah. Already. And 150 metres is pretty hard. And you got the arms in the air. It looked like it, it meant a lot to you. I mean, where does this rate in terms of uh, the overall scheme of things for uh, Paul Wadlam? Um, oh, it's really good, actually, because it's a race that... Um, I fought for the win. Um, now I've had a few wins recently that I just haven't really savoured, which is a bit strange. Like you can't do that in a time trial, uh, and now that's what I'm trying to focus on is time trialling. So all of a sudden it's sort of like a road race is is cool because it's just so unex um, tactical and um, uh, you know there's so many variables that you know if they fall in your favour then it's sort of like I don't know it's just a bit more fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I think you uh, you enjoyed it out there, obviously, and we really enjoyed the result. Oddie, congratulations, yeah. mate. Well done. Thank you.